We've broken our transfer record twice over the summer and we're in for an exciting season ahead, I think. Uh, and it all starts today in the Community Shield against our big rivals, Tottenham, who, by the way, won the Champions League. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part one of season three of Life After Wenger. And today, it's the 30th of May, as I'm recording this, it's coming out a lot um, later than that. So, yeah, it was announced today that Arsene Wenger is carrying on for two years, um, which I'm delighted about. I think Arsene, Arsene Wenger is a good manager, and I don't think they could have got any better manager at the time. So, at, at this time, so I think it, it, it's a good, a good sort of compromise. Another couple of years, um, more time for people like Guardiola and Mourinho to become available. I don't think Mourinho would ever go to Arsenal, but. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, the the bigger manager has a, a, a lockdown um, at the moment, and yeah, um, personally I think it's a good decision. Anyway, enough of that rubbish. Let's get uh, the elephant out the room straight away and get into transfers. Try not to look towards the left. Let's have a look at outgoings. Got a hundred and one millions worth of it. Danny Welbeck has gone to AS Monaco for seventeen and a half million. Could rise to thirty one and a half. Um, if he lives up to his add-ons, but yeah, as Latan Ibrahimovic surprisingly retired, so we had to go out and buy another striker. More on that in a minute. Gary Cale went out for 1.3 million. Granite Xhaka gone for 23 million, rising up to 29. A load of free transfers there. Mesut Ozil, probably the biggest one. He's gone to Juventus for 29 and a half million. Could rise up to 40 and a half. I said towards the end of last season, I was getting less and less convinced by him. Um, and he didn't have the best years last year, and I think the replacement we've brought in is going to rip it up. Mustafi's gone as well. This is one I didn't want to do, but he did request a transfer, and I, I wanted to keep the squad happy, and it lets us bring delight into things, as well as Callum Chambers and Carl Jenkinson. So he's gone for £28 million, could rise up to 375 though, and Simone Scuffy has gone after one season for £1.5 million. Um, yeah, just just didn't work out for him. Uh, lots of loans have gone out, as you can see, but we have kept a lot of the more promising players uh, within the first team this year. So only three players I've brought in. This is all I've seen necessary, really. 150 million pretty much spent. Roberto Firmino was the first um, signing of the summer. I think this is a terrific signing. 60 million pounds he's cost us. But look at the last three years he's had in the Premier League. He's scored um, 29, 46 goals in probably 90, yeah, 98 appearances. 46 goals. He's scoring at a goal every other game. And hopefully in a stronger Arsenal squad, he'll be able to shine. He's not playing today because he did pick up an injury. Um, but for 60 million, could rise up to 72 million. Um, Roberto Firmino. I think could be sign of the summer. Rivaled by this guy, Robert Lewandowski. Everybody knows him. Yeah, he's a brilliant striker. We needed somebody that could deputise for Lukaku when he's not playing. This guy comes in and goes straight as the number one because Lukaku wasn't playing towards the end of last season. Um, well, he, he was playing, but he wasn't playing, if you get what I mean. Um, he wasn't performing. So Robert Lewandowski comes in. He's scored 27 goals in the last two years, and yeah, he's getting on a bit, but he's still going to score goals. I just know it. Um, and Mateo Kovacic, I've bought him from Real Madrid. I've got him in non-league to legend, or I had him um, for Dortmund. I know what he's capable of. 23.5 million. Arsene Wenger brought him in. I can't be held responsible for this, but I thought that was a bargain. I was going to cancel it, but look at how much he's worth. And I thought we could get rid of Brotovic, so he could be the the last guy to go this summer. Um, so this is what the squad's looking like. Um, you know the likes of Delight, Wilshire, Gibbs, Iwobi, Jenkinson, Brotovic, Ospina, all providing good cover cover, as well as Chuba Akpom, who has been lethal in the championship, scoring 40 goals in the last two seasons in the championship. I think he deserves a Premier League chance this year. 
Uh, just deputising, really, covering it, any injuries for Lukaku or Lewandowski. So let's have a look at the team for today, then. Uh, Lukaku isn't going to be that substitute. Um, I think Walcott might have to come out, actually, and we'll put the light on the bench instead. Um, so here we go. This is the team for the Community Shield. We've got Petacek in goal. We've got Hector Bellerin, Koscielny, Van Dijk, and Luke Shaw in defence. Bellerin back. After a lengthy injury spell at the end of last season, we've got Ramsey and Kovacic in the middle. I preferred Ramsey to the likes of Cazorla and Barkley. Um, and we've brought in Coleman on the right hand side with Paye deputising for Firmino today, with Sanchez and Lewandowski leading the line up front. He is going to be a complete forward. Let's get into it. I'm excited to see this Arsenal team together. Um. Yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting one against Tottenham, who have won the Champions League. They beat uh, Paris Saint-Germain 4-0, who beat us, by the way. Paris Saint-Germain beat us in the first knockout round, and Tottenham absolutely thumped them in the final 4-0. So Tottenham are a brilliant side and could very well challenge yet again for the Premier League this year. I would be very surprised if they don't finish first or second depend on uh, who comes out on top um, but we need to uh, assert our dominance today but Son Hyung Min has put Tottenham 1-0 up within the first half an hour and that was just sloppy defending we haven't really looked in it yet um, but it's 1-0 Tottenham um, and yeah we want to assert our dominance against them we want to show that we are the better team show that we are going to compete for a third Premier League title in a row. Ericsson with the cross there and Son Hyung Min with the goal. Obviously Tottenham's last competitive match was against Paris Saint-Germain but in the Premier League they lost 6-2 to Man United on the last day of the season. So yeah, disappointing first half from the likes of Lewandowski and Sanchez, even Paye not quite performed to the standards you'd expect. But here's Alexis Sanchez now, good save and well that could have been 1-1, could have quite easily been 1-1. One, one. We'll, we'll keep things as they are for now. Um, obviously, it is technically a friendly, though, so I think we get multiple substitutions. Um, so with that in mind, I might bring on Romelu Lukaku now. Play him as an advanced forward. Take Paye off and put Turan on. Um, and play that. Um... Yeah. Um, just check it's still recording. It just popped up there. It is still recording, and I've just missed a goal. But Alexis Sanchez has scored. Lukaku with the assist there, slotting through uh, Sanchez. Lovely and what a finish that is from Alexis Sanchez, and it is one all now. It's Sixty-five minutes gone. Kovacic not having the best of games, so let's bring on Barkley. Um, maybe Cazorla as well uh, for Ramsey because remember Cazorla can pull out those free kicks and you know that's definitely been a thing before it's away very lucky there here's Luan good tackle by Lukaku he's had a good game since coming on he's earned himself a start for the Sunderland game oh Rose has scored though <sighs> Della Ali, well, it was Ericsson to Ali who flicked it on and just sloppy defending once again. And with 20 minutes to go, we need to find a goal from somewhere. We're going to bring Chuba Rakpom on, uh, and hopefully, he's going to somehow find a way to win this for us. Um, I mean, they're not attacking substitutions, are they? Let's just do that. Uh, we've got 15 minutes for somebody to make an impact. Oh, five minutes left. Cazorla into the middle. Here's Virgil van Dijk. Oh no, here's Bellerin. Petacek, now Koscielny. Virgil van Dijk. Here's Akpom, now Sanchez. Forward to Akpom. Lukaku, oh! What a save from McGee. Arda 2 ran into the middle. Here's Sanchez. Barkley. Cazorla misses. Shaw. And that's surely going to be it now. Are we going to get another chance? Barkley, Shaw, Sanchez, and Arda Turan has put it in the back of the net. I didn't know who had done it, but he has done it. And it's Alexis Sanchez with the assist. Turan with the goal. It's 2-2. Two -two. 
and now we have penalties for the first match of the season. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> um, Turan, Sanchez, Barkley, uh, Van Dijk, Bellerin. I'm just looking at. Well, no, he he goes in there. Koscielny. Maybe above him. Petr Cech. And then Luke Shaw. Let's get into it. We haven't got a great record of penalties. And Lukaku's already missed one. Della Alli now. 1-1. One, one. Uh, sorry, 1-0 one to Tottenham. Here's Santi Cazorla. Oh, he's missed as well. Luan. 2-0. That's it. Surely. Arda Turan. Slots it away. Aldevardel. Good save. Good save. Sanchez. Mm. Musa Sissoko. We need to score this to stay in it. And it's Ross Barkley. Missed. Predictable. 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 We've lost the Community Shield on penalties. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is very, very annoying indeed. Um. Penalty record is terrible. Um, yeah, another match lost on penalties then. We've lost the Community Shield, so Tottenham have won that. They've won the battle, but hopefully not the war. Um, and yeah, when are we going to come back? That is the question. A bit of a shorter episode today. I do apologise. Um, but I think I'm going to play through this sort of first four matches and then we'll come back in the Champions League and also play Liverpool I think and we'll do that in the next episode so if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below uh, it really does mean a lot for me and for the channel we are closing in on a thousand subscribers so it would be great if you could help us get there and yeah hopefully you guys uh, having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye